It was a good hour up the river to Red Cliffs, papyrus flanking us on either side. From a distance, Red Cliffs was this huge orange wall. And as we got closer, we could see the sandy face, filled with burrows and lots of birds flying to and fro. We had positioned ourselves on the side of the cliff and had to film out of the boat as there was nowhere else to stand on the bank and this is when Richard spotted two snakes. One was peering out of one of the carman's nests. This snake was a boomslung and we could only think that the carman's had eggs and chicks in their burrows. The birds were becoming increasingly excited and were squawking and hovering above the snake, even flying in and dive-bombing it. The birds weren't letting up and tried to worry the snake as much as they could. and eventually the snake snaked its way down a branch and disappeared into the bank. There was a sand boulder that had eroded and fallen into the water at the bottom of the cliff face, and I perched myself and camera on top of it. From here, I had a steady platform and a safe place to film from. The sound was incredible. Hundreds of birds flying in and out and settling on trees and next to their holes. The insect life had also increased, and the birds hunted the air over the water. The trees and banks and air were full of birds, and we left the frenzy as the sun set, the camp being a good hour's trip away in the dark.